Hey, what's up guys, Quinn here. So recently I got out metal detecting and I found a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, one of the most interesting things that I found here was this crusty penny that I cannot make out at all. So uh, I thought today, you know, I went online and found a bunch of ways that uh, you can clean pennies. I'm in college right now, so I kind of have limited resources when it comes to like acids and things like that. But what I do have is an actual lemon. So what I'm gonna do is probably squeeze about half of this thing into uh, this little shot glass here because there's not a whole lot of surface area on the bottom so it should be able to cover it up nicely. I'm probably gonna drop this in for about five, 10 minutes and we'll see what happens. All right, so here we have our lemon, which I'm gonna go ahead and cut in half now. So I think that's gonna be about good. Use up half the lemon. That should cover the coin, I believe. Let's get a nice cut there. So this stuff's gonna be about uh, two pH. It's pretty, acidic stuff. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the shot glass here and just squeeze it in. Just like old times running the lemonade stand. Making lemonade and making money. Alright I think we'll just squeeze it a few more times get all of it in there and I think that's going to be enough. So now that we have our lemon juice Lining the bottom of the cup here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that uh, crusty old penny, which as you can see, very difficult to discern any type of detail on that coin right now. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there, and uh, we'll see what happens. Looks like some of that stuff is coming off already. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for probably about 5-10 minutes, or at least until I see something happening, and I will get back to you with the results. All right, that's been in there for about five minutes, so I just thought I'd let you guys uh, know what it's looking like at this point. Perhaps not what you were expecting. Um, yeah, it's just a flat red uh, little circle there. I'd, it is just not going to show up, I don't think. Um, the good news is I looked at this before, and I thought that I could make out Lincoln's head uh, there was no way I was going to make out a date. I just wanted to see if I could confirm that this was uh, a Lincoln scent. And I think we might still be able to tell, but I mean, this this there's really no hope for this one. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, throw one of the zinc pennies in there that I found just to show you what that'll look like, you know, once it's uh, all cleaned up. So there's what it looks like to begin with. And uh, let's go ahead and drop it in and see what happens to that one. All right. Get back to you as soon as we find out. All right, that's been sitting in there for a nice long period of time, so let's go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like. Remember, this is the zinc penny. And this is a nice little experiment because, well, I didn't actually find any other copper pennies other than the old ones. Um, as you can see, it turned a little bit redder. Uh, I think that's usually what happens. What I was hoping is that these bumps would go away. As, you know, if you find uh, zinc pennies, Oftentimes they're gonna have this these like little bumps on them, and it's it's just corrosion. It's it's uh, zinc really doesn't work as well uh, in the elements as copper does. Um, so you're gonna get that, and it's really unavoidable. But the good news is zinc pennies really aren't worth a whole lot more than a penny anyway. So um, that's pretty much just a trash penny. Um, looking back now that this is dry, just to give you a quick look at uh, if you can. You know, try to tell me if you see anything here. I believe that this is a wheat penny, and um, it's probably going to be hard to show you guys exactly why I believe that. Oh, dropped it in there. Let me just move this out of the way for a second here. Um, so if you take a look here, what I'm seeing is, uh, at least what I was seeing before, let me just get a little uh, pointer here for you. Uh, this right here would be like the side of Lincoln's head. So if we take a normal penny, uh, like just take this one here, this is what I'm seeing. Um, so I'll put that one down for a second there and just compare right here. That's kind of like the same as this right here. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing there, and then that would mean that if we flip it this way, we should be able to see the wheat ears. Uh, I thought I saw them earlier. I can't really say that I see them now. I believe that 
I can just barely make it out on this side here, but I really can't say for sure. Um, either way though, we're not getting a date off of this and it's kind of a piece of trash. It's really unbelievable though that I was able to pull out this amazing 1910 out of the same park and uh, definitely as old, if not older, than uh, the penny that we have here. I mean, just look at the condition of this penny right here. Those weed ears are really, really standing out. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. The, the um, lines on those weed ears are very well defined. This is one of the best uh, condition wheat pennies I've found, and it's the oldest coin that I've ever found. So really, really nice find. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the lemon juice method to work. And I can't really say that any other method would work any better. Um, as you can see here, that turned kind of green from all that copper coming off. Um, and one more thing that I got to mention real quick for you guys is that uh, you definitely don't want to try this on, you know, if you have a really nice penny like this, uh, don't try it. And if you have something that's questionable, if you have something that's a key date, if you can see the date, don't try it. It's just not going to help the value on the coin at all. Um, this was just a little experiment because obviously we couldn't see the date anyway, so I thought I'd just give it a try and show you guys what happened. Well anyways guys, thanks for watching this quick little video. I like to put out a bunch of little shorter videos during the weekdays if I can. Um, pretty much whatever comes up, you know, if I went metal detecting I got some stuff to work with. Uh, or if I just do like a quick little coin roll hunt during the week, I'd love to put, you know, two videos out a week would be awesome. Um, but don't expect them to be regular. They're just supplemental stuff. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Uh, and you can stick around for the Saturday videos, which are going to be higher quality and, you know, more fun. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate all your support. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins, signing out.